Yo guys, what is going on? <coughs> Welcome. Welcome back to another preview. Now, it's very, very early. And I decided to myself, I'll wear this one. Hopefully this gives us some good luck because every single time while they wear one under the preview, we lose. So I thought to myself, you know what? <coughs> I'll bring out the old <coughs> red one, even though my throat's a little bit whatever it's doing. And hopefully this can get us a win. Now tomorrow, let's uh, let's stop beating our bushes. Um, Swansea City is a long way to go. Swansea Football Club is absolutely miles away. It's about, I think, when I was on the AA website, it's 5 hours and 32 minutes away. So, butter, if you do not turn up, and I've got to travel 5.5 hours there, and 5.5 hours back, I'm going to be a little bit angry. Do you know what I'm saying? I think I have every single right to be a little bit angry if we lose this game. Or if butter don't turn up. If we lose, you give 100%, then I can't be angry. If we lose, you only give 20%, like, you know what I mean? Then I have to be angry, but... Last five games for us, not much to talk about apart from the fact that we've had five losses on the bounce and four of them have been at home, one of them has been away. Yeah, man, um, loving life. I mean, I'm loving it. I'm, I, mean, I, I can't lie to you. I'm actually loving life at the minute. Five five defeats on the bounce. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's absolutely brilliant. You know what I mean? Lots of words. You know what I mean? But <laughs> it's one of them where. Now, nah, listen, it is bad. It is bad. And on a series note, uh, the form's got to change at some point. The form's got to change. Somebody's got to give seven games to go, 21 points to play for, and you hope and pray that Butter can hopefully try and sort something out. I'm more confident that something's going to change, not really. Um, it's just toxic. It's toxic. It's it's almost like Tony Puris doesn't really know what to do. Um, if we go one nil down, the ideas aren't there no more. You, you can't like motivate him to come back to the game. If you want him, you know. You look back at the last five games, you look at Brentford, Borough winning 1 0, lost game 2 1 in the last 30 minutes. And it's a serious, you know what I mean? Serious and so. Look at Swansea, let's preview Swansea. Manager, Graham Potter, Liberty Stadium, last five games, lost 3 1 2. At home, the decent at home, they were conceded. Be Bolton 2 0, be Brentford 3 0. Away from home, lost to Norwich 1 0, which were, to be fair to them, they're pretty lucky in that game. West Brom away 3 0, and Nottingham Forest 2 1. Now, away from home, these lads aren't on a great run of form. At home, they don't concede and they score plenty of goals. That's, good. That's filling me with loads of confidence. I, I, honestly, there, that little bit there is filling me with loads of confidence for tomorrow. Um, let's keep going. League table Swansea at 14th, play 38, won 14, drawn 8, and lost 16 on 50 points. And Butter at 8th, winning 15, drawing 13, and losing 11 on 58 points. <clears throat> now, but are currently two points outside the playoffs. Win tomorrow, <clears throat> these above us lose, then hopefully we can do something there. If we lose this game and Swansea win, then they close the deficit on us. They're four in for eighth, and it's only eight points to separate us. I think I worked out or uh, something along the lines of if we lose every single game from now to the end of the season and the teams below us win, but I can finish sixteenth. <clears throat> I repeat, if we lose every single game from now to the end of the season, and the teams below us win, we finish 16th. Oh my goodness me. I don't know if it'll happen. I'll be honest though, I'll be honest with you right now. Tomorrow, Swansea away. Am I confident for that game? No. I, I don't hold any confidence. Which Butter fan, right, is going to hold confidence tomorrow, going into it knowing that you've lost the last five games, four of them being at home, one of them being away, and you're playing a team that scores at home and doesn't concede? Which Butter fan is going to be confident going there tomorrow? We're going to be there, yeah? We're going to turn up in numbers. So this is what Buddha actually put a performance in. It's the end of the day, right? It's not like it's down the road. It's not like it's a couple of hours. It's five hours, 32 minutes away, man. And I will be precise when I say 32 minutes. Five hours, 32 minutes away from home. That's how far we're travelling. Now, if you turn tomorrow, Buddha, and we get dicked for a nil, and you give 20%, of course the Butter fans are going to be annoyed. Of course we're not going to be angry. Of course we're going to voice our opinion, like Butter fans did the other night. Of course we're going to do all them things. Because it isn't cheap going to Swansea tomorrow. It only means expense. And at the end of the day, if we go there tomorrow and we win, them sort of expenses, well, it's all fairly good. You know what I mean? Butter won. If we lose, it's doom and gloom still. And there's only 11 players on that pitch tomorrow that can change it. And the manager, so it's up for a change. Top goal scorer for them, Oli McBurney. When he was at Barnsley last season inside the championship, he was a decent striker. And I actually rated him highly. He's got a Swansea, he's scored 18 goals, and he's had to 14th, but he's got 18 goals for them. 
He's been injured as well, but looks like he could come back tomorrow against the Borough. He's obviously, uh, you know what I mean, he's got two assists. Uh, Selena's got eight goals and five assists, and James has got four goals and six assists. So, do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? They're not exactly shy of assists, and goals-wise, Rolly McBurney's their main manager. He's, he's a good striker, he really is. And he's a talent. And you know what I mean? Swansea's got a proper striker there, especially a championship striker. That's exactly what we've got in um, Oli McBurney. So watch out for him tomorrow because you know what it is? He's good in the air. I mean, he takes on the shot into the box and he always hits the target. So it's going to be tough for us. But uh, Son Bolongas on 12 goals. Fletcher's on 7 goals and 1 assist. And Jordan Hugh Gills on 7 goals and 2 assists. Do you want to know how I know that? Because hardly changed in the last 5 games that we've been beat 5 times in a row. But our top goal scorers, as hard as I don't even know how I wrote it down. Because I know it's the top made anyways. Uh, head to head, we drew no one today. Last time we played him, Swansea, and then when they shoot the final whistle blew, and this is the bit that got me. When the final whistle blew, their fans are celebrating. I mean, by well, by celebrating, I seen them hugging each other. The fact they got a no nil against the Borough, that's what it meant to them. So, do me, these lads came here at the start of the season, seen that we were in good form, sat back, defended, got a point. Borough, don't go there tomorrow and sit back, please. Please go there and try and get a win because at the end of the day, as I've already said. If we're serious, right, if we're serious as a football club about going up the season, let's see it then. Let's see the seriousness, because us fans want to see it, right? And it's all fairly good calling on the fans to come out and wear red and come out and cheer for the boys and all this. We do that week in, week out, right? And we have done since we were, like, kids. Do you know I mean? We've come out week in, week out and support our team. It's you on the pitch that can make the difference. We can't make the difference on the pitch. You lads can. Do you know what I mean? You are the professional. You are, you are the player with the ball in front of you. Do something with it. Do you know what I mean? Give us something back tomorrow. For crying out loud. I mean, we're going to Wales, man. I mean, we're going to a different country to go and watch this. Turn up, butter, please. Turn up, butter. Don't mess about, man. Just turn up. Uh, in terms of my 11, the one that I would start tomorrow, I would go forward at the back. I uh, drop the wing backs, really, because Ryan Shotton's not a wing back and neither is George Friend. Uh, so, my starting 11, we've got this Randolph Shotton, Flint Fry Friend, Mikhail Bessage, House and Savile, Brett Sambalonga, and Ashley Fletcher. A real sort of down this morning to come across was that Lewis Wings will be out for quite a while as he's going to have to have surgery for a groin injury and that is a real blow because really he's our creative player he's that sort of creative spark inside our midfield and as I say you know what I mean tomorrow's going to be tough it really is going to be a hard game and I'm just praying that we see something back for the fans because at the end of the day you know what I mean we've been there all season long we've seen how the season's panning out and at the end of the season our seven games to go some of us have already decided our fate for ourselves, do you know what I mean? A lot of us already cancelled our hotels at Wembley. Because at the end of the day, right, how can we hold any confidence that Borough are going to get in the playoffs? And if we do get in the playoffs, how on earth can we hold any confidence that Borough are going to go to Wembley and win for the first time ever? Do you know what I mean? How on earth can we hold the confidence for that? We can't really hold it, can we? So, for me, of course I want to see us win tomorrow. More than anything, do you know what I mean? More than anything I want to see us win tomorrow. But is it going to happen? I don't know. I'm not confident, and I should be confident as a Borough fan. I shouldn't have to sit here and be a bit negative about it, but is it being negative or is it being honest? You know what I mean? At this moment in time, it's just, it's so destroying. Do you know what I mean? It's, that's the way it feels, and it's toxic, and people are seeing this about 20 Pugh, singing that inside the stands, and you're hearing it all, and you're thinking to yourself, I've never seen this bad in my life. I've never seen this bad at the Borough. And of course, you know what I mean? Teams are laughing at us and whatnot, and almost making like, us make like a bit of a banter club. At the end of the day, we have to keep moving forward. I know this, I get this, but at the end of the day, man, what are we supposed to do as fans? I mean, we're there week in, week out, and I'd say, you know what I mean? There's fans going there tomorrow to Swansea with five, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Five defeats on the bounce. We're going there tomorrow to go and watch our team. <sighs> For me now, score prediction wise, I don't know no confidence. I don't know. Listen, I'll take a 1 0. I say it all the time, I'll take a 1 0. But I don't hold no confidence. And I, I don't know if we'll even win tomorrow. I, I don't honestly know if we'll win tomorrow. <sighs> Man, this is tough. But for me, do I take a point? And it, yeah, do you know what? I would take a point. Another 14 foot. Wait, our form's horrendous. I don't want a point. Do you know what I mean? I want to see three points because that's almost like Tony Pugh's get out get of jail free cards. Do you know what I mean? If we go there tomorrow and get a point, he says, oh, well, it's positive. Now, Jimmy's loads of positives. We're all got a point. I want to see who's going there and get a win. I actually want to see us go to a team and actually take the game to them and actually attack them and show them exactly what we're about. But at the minute, we're not showing anyone what we're about. At the minute, we're just we're just a team that's getting rolled over every single week. So, of course, we want to see us go there tomorrow and win. I'm a confident. I'm not. I'm not. But that's besides me. That's because the players and the manager ain't filling me with confidence at the minute. I take a one nil. I take a one nil. If that's going to be my prediction, one nil. And that's going to be my prediction, one nil. 
I take it. I take a one nil. Take the three points. Go back to T side safely. I take a one nil. I say man, comment in your score predictions down below in the comment section. And I say man, all my social medias link in the description as well. And I say one nil butter. That's as simple as it has to be for me. If we get beat, I'm gonna be absolutely gutted. That would be six defeats in a row. And then I say man, you know, we can't keep saying oh, it's seven games, whatever, till the end of the season. That's when I think then went there and then. The season's pretty much done if you lose tomorrow. But listen, of course we have to try and stay confident. Of course we have to try and stay positive. But uh, do not let us down tomorrow. Do not let these travelling fans that are travelling there tomorrow. Let, please don't let them down. Just don't do it on us, man. Our way to, he's miles away. Don't let us down tomorrow. But uh, always, always, guys, like, comment, share and subscribe. And I will catch you guys again tomorrow. Up the bottom.